Welcome to the January 7th, 2021 video version of the Wagner Daily. My name is Rick Petticelli, and as usual, once a week, this video replaces the written commentary portion of our report. Uh, hopefully, it serves as a nice change of pace, as well as offers some insight as to how we set up our charts, what time frames and indicators we use. On the left here, we have a daily chart, and on the right, a weekly. We don't have a ton of screen space here which is why I only have the daily and the weekly, but my personal setup has a daily, weekly, and a monthly at all times, just so I don't have to, to continuously open and close or switch up on the monthly chart between the weekly. I just like to have all three open at the very least, so it gives me the complete picture of uh, where the stock's been and where it, it may go. So in this video, we're going to quickly run through a few broad market averages, then cover open positions in the model portfolio, and finally, we'll take a look at a few uh, setups that could be in play during the next few days. First up is the NASDAQ composite. Thursday's price action was a pretty bullish response to Wednesday's close, which was a bit of a change of character in that it, it was a close below the 20-day EMA, which we haven't seen since last November. So with that close below the 20-day EMA, if the price action were to have followed through to the downside, that would have uh, generated a sell signal for us and not that we would have sold all of our positions that we were along just that uh, it would have put us on alert for potentially tightening up stops or uh, taking the foot off the gas in terms of exposure and thursday's response was uh more than likely caught most traders off guard uh the the price action opened at least one percent higher and then pushed through the two-day high within the first 15 minutes of trading as we see here over the past few weeks, new highs have been met with a pullback. So we had a, a surge up here and then a pullback, another surge up here and a pullback. So we could see the same thing. I mean, nothing's really changed. FFTY broke out to new highs, and this is the IBD50 ETF, which is uh, something we like to follow because it tracks how growth stocks are performing which is what we prefer to trade in the in this report. And after two weeks of chop, FFTY broke out to new highs. Pretty solid day. And a positive sign for growth stocks, which have underperformed as of late. Okay, as for current long positions in the model portfolio, we have NEO, which were long from 49.90. Pulled back into the 10-day EMA and bounced on Thursday. Pretty tight range session here on Thursday as well. So if it can clear this two-day high, really could be off to the races. And if we look at the weekly chart, this is just a really nice consolidation uh, with the price action pulling back one week and then basically going sideways, allowing the rising 10-week MA to catch up. Uber was purchased over this downtrend line here on 1.5 at around uh, $53. And uh, it pulled back in on Wednesday, but held above the 20-day EMA and closed above the 10-day EMA. And it followed through today on, on a pickup in volume and looks pretty darn good here. And the weekly is really nice. One of the best looking weekly charts as this is a fresh breakout to new all-time highs. After one and a half years of chop, and here's the 10-week MA that also uh, provided support, which doesn't show up on the daily chart, and that's something that uh, we see often, which is a bullish sign where the price is uh, so strong that it doesn't touch the 50, which a lot of traders may be waiting for, but it does in fact touch the 10-week MA. And our Final long position is Snap, which we just purchased on 1.6 as it cleared the two-day high with the stop beneath the uh, two-day low. And again, what we really like about this setup is a pullback. Is It's a pullback to the rising 10-week MA, the first touch of the 10-week MA after a uh, big-time breakaway gap up, also to new highs in Snap. So we're just trying to get on board a, a very strong performer over the past uh, year. 
as uh, we expect much more upside. As for potential longs during the next few days, gold and silver stocks are, have perked up as of late, and uh, CDE is uh, one of the strongest stocks over the past 30 to 40 sessions. Looks like it's formed a little cup with handle pattern here. Uh, obviously, cup and handle patterns are six to seven weeks or longer. This one is only uh, 13 bars, but you get the idea. It's a short little cup with handle. So if it can punch through this uh, 1125 area, look for the uptrend to resume. KC, uh, Kingsoft Cloud Holdings uh, could get interesting if and only if it can uh, break this downtrend line. Another stock that's... Um, just breaking out to a new all-time high. The price is pulled back to the prior breakout pivot and the 10-week MA. And note the nice dry up in volume here. Next up is U. And this is one to watch here on a break of this downtrend line. This is the first pullback to the 50-day MA after a 150% run up. And some bigger cap names. Uh, we normally don't trade these stocks, but it's sort of interesting here. And that Amazon, not close to this downtrend line, but continues to make higher lows. Two days of stalling here at the 10-day MA and around 3,200. So if it could punch through this area, that would be the entry with the stop beneath uh, two days of lows and the 50-day MA. So that would be about a 3% or less stop. And Apple, after an ugly close on 1.6, uh, this is a... A bullish look here where the price action took out the the highs of this wick here so if it can follow through to the upside uh, that would be in play for a swing and nox nano x imaging pretty interesting here it's really tight over the past few days uh, look for the price action to build some momentum over the two-day high and that would also place it above this uh, above this downtrend line and if we look on the weekly chart the the tight sideways action here is uh, off support of the rising 10-week MA. And the last chart of the night is YALA, YALA Group. What's interesting here is if it can break this downtrend line, it could really pick up some momentum. First, it has to punch through the declining 10 and 20-day EMAs. And the price action is currently off support of the 10-week MA. So look for some fireworks to occur above $16. All right, that's a wrap for tonight's video. Thank you for joining me, and we'll see you here next week.